Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me, got my six, meaning have my back because I have yours. We are going to pull some emotions, some feelings to see exactly what it is that you're going through, what you're trying to get through, and how you're going to get through. And we are speaking in the present moment, not the past. We are learning from the past. So if the past comes up and it talks about the future, we are going to learn that the past causes fear, but we have to get through those fears. We're going to learn from them. And then if the future comes up, then we're going to talk about what we see for the future, but not dwell in the future. We're dwelling on the present moment right now and where we are with that energy. Um, you guys, I can't stress enough to like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. There is a card that came out. It may be unsure, but we're going to go ahead and put it in the upright. We have two that flipped over in the, um, yeah, kindness. So kindness comes out, and then we have kindness we have surprise and we have body so unsure about kindness um you're trying to figure out if this if you ask me um you're trying to figure out basically how to um be kind to others without neglecting yourself and that's the surprise that may come about that's just what i see and change course yeah so change course is here i'll read change course there's three keys i don't know it's something about um, this light that is driving me crazy, but change courses. There are three keys hanging. You have an option in order to change course in order to open this door that's right here. And what's on the other side of the door? It says, and I don't know. It says the the closed door is an invitation from life to move in an in in an even better direction. It's time to change course. So changing course and um, self-love and also surprises that may happen in the process of this. So the kindness is here. Kindness is here. It says, what if being kind to yourself really could change everything? And that's where you're unsure about. You have always been kind to everyone else and kind of um, uh, dwindle yourself down when it comes to things. But surprise is here. Surprise says release your expectations and be open to surprises. So don't when it says release your expectations the things that you expect from other people you have to release that because a lot of the times that disappoints you and therefore when it comes to the kindness and it disappoints you because you're kind to others but others don't reciprocate the same kindness that you give out to others and so when it comes to the body being here the body says your body deserves your love so um at some point you have to surprise yourself and do something different. It's time to change course and stop doing the things that you're used to doing. And I'm going to pull from this deck. I can't remember the name of it, and I don't have my card um, booklets and the boxes where I can see them. They're in a box. I have to pull them out. I just haven't gotten to that point right now. Um, but, yeah, you have to be able to change the course of the nature of the situations. Now, these cards... I'm not really going to do reverse or unsure because they're sideways. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. See, you've been struggling in regards to how to do things and how to change and what to change and uh, the way to change. It's like the Five of Pentacles could be struggle, but it could be the you're struggling because of the kindness that you give to others, the things that you do for others that you won't do, you haven't really done for yourself. And so, therefore, when it comes to the Five of Pentacles, you have to look at things in a different perspective. So the Five of Pentacles, sorry, my, my bracelet got stuck on my um, camera cord. But the Five of Pentacles, it just is like you have to change that lack mindset or also isolate, you know, the isolation issue and worrying about what um, what you've done in the past. So, again, the lack mindset is, you know, basically what you've done for others that hasn't been reciprocated towards you, which is why this is unsure about the kindness because again you have to be kind to yourself in order for you to be kind to others because that you know it's like pouring from an empty cup and so the the surprises happen when you start to love yourself and know that there's a change that needs to be happen needs to happen or needs to take place and uh when it comes to the judgment that's the realization that you have to have judgment energy is basically facing yourself and looking at things from um uh, uh what is it a, a, 
that stop looking at things from a rose co colored lens. Am I saying that right? But the judgment is having a realization that, you know what, you have to understand that when it comes to you being a, um, a, a, a beacon of love and a beacon of success and a beacon of all of these things for yourself, you have to know that, you know, um, this is, um, how do I want to say it? This is something that, you know, it, it's, it's a hard pill for you to swallow, for you to have to, um, take into consideration and, and, and take accountability for your actions when you're just trying to help. Does that make sense? And so this is somebody in the water getting baptized. Um, you see a, I want to say an eagle, but my lights are, I don't know if it's my lights or my camera is dirty, but I want to say the eagle and this people watching, you know, a person get back to baptize and change the way that they've done things in the past and also change the way that they feel when it comes to, you know, the things that they used to do. So this is a rebirth. This is being reborn. This is, you know, um, you know, based on your religious beliefs, this is you facing the things and, and, and just, just blessing the past, not really you know, um, dwelling about the past, but know that the past was struggles. And it's a way for you to start over if this is your belief system. But the nine of pentacles lets you know that it's okay. You can pour from other cups, but nine years, each pentacle is equi equivalent to a year. But the nine of pentacles is like your financial independence, your self-sufficiency, and uh, the things that you've done um, to get to this point is the realization of why you're able to have a legacy and be able to um, have the luxuries that you have or just to be able to appreciate the hard work that you've been through and uh, five of pentacles um, five years of struggling gets to you at nine years of you having everything and being able to put things in perspective three of cups energy now that looked like it came in the reverse so the three of cups let me show you what it is in the upright the three of cups energy is basically you celebrating and um, uh, understanding your creativities. But in the reverse, this is you doing things alone, independence, overindulgence. And also, you know, it's, you know, uh, spending time alone. And so instead of you doing it with the group, you're spending time alone trying to figure out why your kindness has been taken for granted. But it's not really up for you. I think it's basically you have to understand the consequences of your actions. So justice energy here, it says take what you need, pay what you can. And this is what you always do. Take what you need and pay what you can. The consequences of your actions, the way that you share, the way that you you work so hard in order to support everyone else, but you're not getting that same support. I don't know why my camera is so blurry. You're not getting that same support. And so somebody in consequences of your actions, the justice energy, doing the right thing because you can, not because you want to. And I tell my son, uh, my sons that everything, we do what we can. And sometimes we don't want to. We don't do what we want to do. You know, sometimes we, you know, it feels like we're being taken for granted. But if we are able to do something, you do it because you can. And I tell them this about this is what men do. As when I grow up, and I'm not sure you can take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But when I grew up, men that were in our inner circle um, or that were around, they did stuff because they could, you know. And it's like they took that. Um, to heart because say for instance um, I saw a TikTok let's just talk about the TikTok I saw a TikTok of a lady in the uh, front of her heart her house mowing her lawn and there were like seven or eight kids playing basketball and not really trying to go over there and help that's this new generation but when we grew up if there were seven or eight kids out there and there was a lady that even stepped out and looked as if she was going to mow something sweep something those kids will go over there and it's because you do things because you can as a man i'm not a man but i always tell my sons this a lot of the men that i knew whether relationships situationships friendships whatever it is if they wash their car and it was another car out there they're going to wash that car. You know, those are the type of things that we do as cancers. We do things because we can. If we have the finances, if we even if we didn't have the finances, if it was our last, we would give it to that person because that's something that we're able to do and we know that we're able to manifest something different. And so when it comes to you having to change your perspective and go through those doors to find people who appreciate you, that you don't have to isolate yourself from that, you're okay with 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 helping um and not saying you know helping with the 
the the finances or helping with certain things because you've struggled and you realize that everybody doesn't have that same um everybody doesn't have that same ability to manifest the things that they want or manifest the things that they need they don't have that ability to be able to um recreate or to um go with the flow and if the flow doesn't work to start over and rebuild people don't have those luxuries they don't know how to do that but us cancers we're able to be the phoenixes and that's the reason why the phoenix is something that's uh, i hold dearly to my heart is because of the fact that endings bring new beginnings so sometimes change is inevitable you have to have change in order to move forward death is and let me read this to you it says embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you death is not the end it's a hold on wait let me say it because i can't see um death isn't the end it's a transformation that brings new beginnings so this seems scary but it's a transformation that brings new beginnings the struggle it brings new beginnings but the realization that you have to have to have is that some people don't take you for granted and sometimes you have to dealing with the certain type of energies you have to be able to work and see things uh, from a solo perspective and say that you know what I'm going to help the people consequences of their actions consequences of my actions I'm going to help the people and do the right things for the people who um, who understand um, what it's like to struggle and it's not taking my kindness for weakness and that's where the kindness energy comes out at and the surprise is is that change is going to happen and you know you don't want to feel the need to have to um, be alone the whole time you like to give and to see people happy and at the same time the seven of wands the conflicts come up and you always have to be in defense mode because of the fact that um, this here is farmers rights fair practices help share croppers farmers union farmers holiday farmer work rights and save our farmers because you can't save everyone and the defense side is is that if you fight for somebody else's rights and you are always fighting for others and you're not getting that same reciprocation or you're the only one out there on the picket line fighting for a cause and everybody else is say it's okay cancer's going to take care of it it's okay cancer can pay for it it's okay cancer can do this cancer's able to hold you know or to 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 manifest something different they won't say manifest cancer will take will take care of it you know they put all their burdens and all of their things on you to where you feel like you're in this fight alone and you're struggling alone and that's the realization that you have to have in regards to loving yourself and the surprise knowing that you can go into one door you have the key to go into any door but when it comes to the ten of wands the burdens that happen when you're in the process of helping others you are the one that's carrying the load you when the donkey could probably carry the load right you're the one doing it you're the one doing it and everybody else is you know living off of the things that you've done and you know whether this be firewood or whether it be food or whether it be you know you taking the time out to carry these burdens one of my cards fell you taking the time out to carry these burdens for everyone and to um, push people all of this is about what you're doing for others and so when you take the time out to say okay take what you need and uh, pay what you can you're not asking for a dollar amount you're not asking for help for you helping someone else you're not asking to somebody to help you even though you would want to call somebody but the disappointment of people not being there the way that you've been there for them is not a situation to where you feel like you you're you're ready to hear no if that makes sense and so that's the reason why you rather do it all on your own and that's how uh, the three of cups comes in the reverse because you're going to constantly keep doing everything alone until you change the course of your life change the course of the way you do things and the people that you're around and that's just learning what no longer serves you and that's you taking care of your body your situation and you know taking a leap and before you take the leap you feel like a fool but the actual full energy it's for new beginnings. You know, the full energy is just like knowing that uh, uh, you know nothing, like you're learning over again. Like you thought you knew these people, but you really don't know anything. And so now you're just going to take your dog and, um, you know, whatever you have that you can carry on your back. Look, carry on your back. And you're going to take a leap and you're going to walk away and you're going to find a new door to go through and find people who complete you and not deplete you because you have the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness. Everything that you do, and I've never really took a, taken a look at these cars, uh, cards, 
this right here is the struggle and so what's happening here is that the five of cups this person milked all of these cows inside and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness five of cups energy you know um disappointment and regret and loss you know again death energy change is needed because you took the time to milk all of these cows and everybody comes and they just take for granted that you did that there's cats here they knocked over everything and you're just you're just at the point to where you're tired so having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness but at the same time you have to pull your energy back for source energy and you have to recuperate every time that you deal with these type of people that are just taken 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 so no matter how hard you work and how much you give to a certain situation the thing is justice consequences your actions of your actions are at hand the four source energy just lets you know that you know what i need to recuperate i'm contemplating everything this is me having to pull my energy back meditate which is kind of like the hermit energy soul searching because you're working hard you're the only person in your inner circle working hard and being able to manifest the things that you want and keep going but taken for granted at that same period so five years is here we have nine years so five years you're struggling you've been struggling you've been doing everything and much change is needed because you're the only one picketing and you're the only one fighting for the cause and now changing your course is the only thing that's that's that you can do because resting is not enough anymore giving is not enough anymore um uh, trying to help is not enough anymore doing alone doing it alone is not enough anymore and so this is where you go through those doors and you find people who complete you and not deplete you and everything that you stand for you have to take a leap for and be able to manifest change or to be able to to do change but you actually have to take action and walk away from the things that no longer serve you if that makes sense so let me pull this card that came that fell on the ground and then i'm going to clarify um a lot of these energies so hold on the card that fell down is the six of wands success this is what it's going to take for you to be successful the six of wands energy which um you have to understand that this has this is the ebb and flows of life this is the will of fortune this is what you know will of fortune energy always says uh you know rolling with it and going with the flow this is not going with the flow this is you understanding that the only way for you to be able to be successful or to be appreciated is to walk away you know because the negative uh mindset will start to set in if you just keep um what is it keep things going you know having no control over certain situations and not setting boundaries this doesn't mean that you cannot ever come back it just means that people need to understand uh, and appreciate you because that thing take what you want and pay what you can is not it's like the six of pentacles type energy given to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself if the if you're giving and giving and giving and you're not receiving the same it's not the reciprocation that you're looking for it's just the it's the um it is the the um I, w I don't want to say acknowledgement. I want to say it's the respect that you you should be able to get from others. And the uh, um, if if you needed someone to call on, you would be able to do that. But that's not the case. Um, I'm going to clarify the Five of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Five of Pentacles to see what comes out. Five of Pentacles comes with the Six of Pentacles. I just said, giving to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself. So this right here is someone who is you know supposedly teaching but look at her energy look how she's teaching six of pentacles energy just lets you know it's giving receiving it's sharing your wealth and it's generosity but it also is being able to teach the people how to do things but if you're going through the five of pentacles and you're you're constantly giving away this energy this person here is taking care of themselves they're really not caring if the if you don't get the lesson look at them she has her high heels on she has her wand in her hand and she has her cup in her hand and her hat and she's still taking care of herself in the process there's no struggles that's you learning how to be around people that's going to appreciate your knowledge and appreciate your wisdom and be able to go that's the difference in between the t last people that you were around or the type of people you're around you're able to go where people are going to accept you for the way that you dress the way that you are the knowledge that you have and be able to respect that energy instead of people constantly in a point to where they're using you 
for the better cause. And so the judgment energy comes out with the star. You're still optimistic about those people. You still send strength and healing to those people. But basically when it comes to the star energy, you have faith in regards to, that's why the judgment energy is clarifying that you have faith by trying to be reborn or trying to have these people be reborn and see it in a different light. We're going to clarify the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles comes out with the magician energy and the king of wands energy. So the king of wands energy is just letting you know that, you know what, I have to see the bigger picture and be able to lead and overcome the challenges. But that's by me manifesting something different, manifesting the things and actually uh, not nine of pentacles energy manifesting things as I want, um, which is, you know, the self-sufficiency, because that's what I've been doing and financial independence, which is what I've been actually accomplishing. But Financial independence is one thing, but to be able to give to people who appreciate me, the things that I manifest that I'll be able to appreciate. And, you know, at that same time, I see the bigger picture of why the nine of pentacles comes out nine years. It took for me to get to learn this lesson. And that is where five, six years is here. So the fifth year you were struggling, the sixth year you, st you, you know, you still were given. And now the ninth year, you're understanding how to control that to make to set boundaries to not feel manipulated when it comes to um somebody um taking advantage of your kindness let's clarify the uh, three of cups in the reverse sorry the three of cups in the reverse comes out with the ten of swords so the three of cups in the reverse is you feeling like you've been backstabbed ten of swords energy is just misfortune you feel like everything the chips are against you you feel like you know, there's like, you have to end these things. And there's been a lot of betrayal and a lot of deep wounds when it comes to dealing with doing this on your own. You know, again, like I say, you're looking at everything, but the justice and its energy consequences of your actions, you have to learn from why that people, why you feel like people are backstabbing you or like, uh, you, you have no other choice, but to you know, open another door or, or go through another door or go through another path. Just this energy is because we have the Ace of Cups energy. You know there's more opportunities out there for you. You know that there's people out there that will complete you and not deplete you. You know that there's love relationships and all type of creativity act options that are there for you. And so you must, Five of Wands energy, understand where the conflict is coming from. You know, the five of wands energy also says that, you know, there's going to be a lot of disagreements, but there's also a lot of competition that you've been facing out in that in that way. And you will face. But at the same time, the six of cups energy, you have to understand that the past. Yes, the past causes fear, but you have to learn from that. I always tell you, oh, Rafiki says run from it or learn from it. So when it comes to the six of cups energy, this is you understanding that the past is there. There is an innocence for you from the past on why you love all the people that you've been there for. But change needs to happen. The death energy we're clarifying right now. What change happens because of the three of swords energy heartbreak. The change has to happen because you have to understand that, you know, it. you have to be the change uh, when it comes to the pain, when it comes to all of the adversity that you went through, the sorrow, the emotional pain, the heartbreak, those types of things you have to be able to overcome. And that's because you fought this fault alone. And the, you know, it's not saying that you give up. It's saying that, you know what, all the research, all of the things that I've done, it's time for me to walk through those doors and find a different change. The seven of wands energy comes, let's see. Yep, with the devil energy. So again, the toxic energy, the devil energy is also, excuse me, I'm talking too much, um, you being aware of the things that suck you in, the appetites, the, the um, toxicity that you keep going back to because you're used to or you grew up with or something of the sort. So that's where the seven of wands comes in at where you have to be defensive and you have to kind of fight this this fight on your own because of the fact that, you know, these are like your uh, addictions. These are the things, codependent energies. You're addicted to helping people, to helping people, to giving to people. And that's why it says take what you can, take what you need and pay what you can you're used to that and people are used to always well don't worry because cancer has it cancer will do it for me and that's where the burdens ten of wands energy comes in at the burdens come in at when you don't set boundaries and you cannot 
uh, decipher between your toxicities. And here it is, the burdens come and you start to overthink certain situations, eight of swords energy. You start to overthink certain situations and then you start to take a leap full energy. You have to take a leap and realize change is inevitable. You have to take this. You have to make this change. I thought a card turned over. You have to make this, this leap. You have to take this leap and be able to go through. So three cards came over and then these cards also are here. So your energy, the chariot, and also the nine of swords energy. So this is anxiety, but this is moving forward from the anxiety and taking a leap here. So the full energy is clarified with the chariot moving forward and also what causes you anxiety, but also the emperor energy. You need to have stability in order to be able to walk away. You need to have emotional, physical, mental um, stability to be able to walk away. The emperor energy is to respect yourself. You have to respect yourself enough to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. That's the reason why you're taking a leap with the full energy at the bottom of the deck right now is the empress. Oh, excuse me, the high priestess energy. And we're going to clarify the five of cups energy. You know, having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness is why you have to understand that these types of situations, all these cards came out. Yep, two of cups in the back. I mean, at the bottom of the deck, I said in the back. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck is, you know, a mutual attraction or undefined love, but it also is partnership. But the two of cups also is letting you know the things that you attract. And that is where you have to pull your energy back and change the course to the things that you attract. A lot of the things you attract is toxicity. And that's because, Page of Swords, you have the clarity, the insight and knowledge to know what's causing sadness and the clarity with the Page of Swords. You know basically what it is, you know. You know what is causing you to feel this way or not uh, to feel like your kindness is being taken for a weakness but you also have to understand that you're not doing anything about it and so the curiosity a thirst for knowledge finding other people who complete you is why you're taking a leap full energy because you're you're having the strength to be able to walk away to move forward from the things that's causing you anxiety and then we have the queen of pentacles as jds tarot says that the queen of pentacles can be toxic to um the Queen of Pentacles can be toxic to herself. Um, the quote that I learned was, a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life. Protect and care for them no matter what. No matter what is that this Queen of Pentacles will do anything for a person that they love. They'll keep milking the cow and keep allowing them to knock over and not to, to waste the things that, you know, that he or she worked hard for. And so that's the reason why you are at this point to where it's time for change. And also with the Six of Wands energy, you're going to be successful. You just have to know what this is coming to and where your kindness is being taken for granted. And then the Queen of Swords. So when it gets to the Queen of Swords showing her face, the Queen of Swords is someone that um, basically is like, setting clear boundaries very direct you know it's like no unbiased judgment judgment you're just saying exactly what it is that you want or you uh, what you need and this is the four cups because you're disconnected you reach a plateau everything that you love about the people that used to be that were around you in the past is causing you to feel like there is no growth and so in order for you to grow you have to get on your horse and you have to go um, sun energy the sun energy also is you have to enjoy you're not able to enjoy life so you have to go where you can enjoy life because we have the five of swords there's a lot of ego involved in this situation there's a lot of people with egos that expect you to do the things that you've been doing in the past and they expect like I said you to go and work hard to make sure everything is accomplished and they're not putting in that same work for you if that makes sense so that is kind of how I see this energy. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll pull from the love situation just in case this is uh, about love or if this is just about a regular situation. But it'll give us energy to let us know what it, what, what it is. But I just believe that you have to change. You have to be the change, change that you want to see. I guess that's what I want to say. And, you know, sometimes it's easier said than done. But when you, when you keep... Uh, being out on the limb, Tina Marie, Thorny Rose, yep, and uh, love activation. When you keep um, being the person who is always doing things alone, you become unraveled, taking for granted. Yep, taking for granted. Um, unequal give and take, exactly, not feeling appreciated. And that's where you get to the point to where you have to understand that, you know, the Two of Cups energy is about 
what it is that you you need out of a situation if you need you need that support you need the mutual love you need that mutual attraction you need you know somebody to activate the things that you know you're passionate about and not just you doing that so that's the love activation you have an awakening heart space opening and twin flame ascension so i'm not sure about the twin flame ascension maybe somebody will realize what it is uh what you bring to the table after you've walked away but the thorny rose again you do things because you can not because you want to you do them because you can and it's out of the kindness of your heart um and even when you don't want to you still do them because you can if that makes sense painful love experiences fight for love and worth the troubles and that's what you're doing you're trying to go out there to see if this is worth the trouble of being and doing everything alone because if you're doing everything alone then why is it that you need somebody else who is going to unravel your energy and make you feel like exhausted all the time and so that's the reason why it gets to the fact that you're knowing that change needs to be you you have to open up other doors in order to unravel what it is that you're looking for in life so i think that was a really good reading i'm going to pull from the four agreements um don't make assumptions and then also from the crystal deck the red tiger eye if you want and this is grounding yourself if you want to know my perspective in regards to the chakras i'll put the link up above and also the four agreements so don't make assumptions be aware of your unconscious assumptions this is basically potential but let's read it Assumptions are made so fast and unconsciously most of the time because we have agreements to communicate this way. We have agreed that it is not safe to ask questions. We have agreed that uh, if people love us, they should know what we want or how we feel. And see, this is where the problem is when it comes to painful situations and being unraveled because you're being taken for granted because this person doesn't understand why you're so kind and why you do things the way that you do them. And the surprise is, is that when you walk away and start um, doing things on your own and not doing things for others, they're going to realize that you were worth the trouble uh, if that's the case, or they're going to want to fight for love based upon the painful experiences that they caused you and you're overthinking by why you're unraveled. But the red tiger eye is your root chakra and so when it comes to the root chakra, this is you uh, pulling within. Actually, click the links ab ab above. Confidence, motivation, and vitality. Conf confidence, motivation, and vitality. It says, I'm confident, motivated, and passionate. So no matter what, you're not going to let anybody break your kindness. You're just going to find people who complete you and not deplete you. And that's all you ever wanted out of these situations. And so that's when you realize why you have to walk away because and change your course because these past energies are causing you to be unraveled. And so let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.